A large crowd of mourners turning out to say goodbye to a well-known Schuylkill County businessman, Patrick Murphy. The owner of Murphy's Jewelers was the victim of a murder in New Orleans earlier this month. And services are underway right now at St. John the Baptist Church in Pottsville. Eyewitness News reporter Andy Mahalshik is there now. Andy. And good afternoon, Kelly. We're standing outside St. John the Baptist Roman Catholic Church here on Mahatongo Street in Pottsville. The funeral mass for Patrick Murphy is just getting underway. As you see, a large crowd, people turning out here to the church to, to bid their farewell and say goodbye to a man so well known in Pottsville and throughout the Schuylkill County area. Let me show you some video taken a short time ago as people came from the funeral home to the church here to pay their respects. Now, Murphy owned and operated Murphy's Jewelers in Center City, Pottsville. His grandfather began, started that business back in 1913. Murphy was known as a mover and a shaker in this community. He would always lobby very hard for economic development in the city of Pottsville, as well as being a big time supporter for nonprofit and charitable groups across the county. Now, he was stabbed to death back on February 28th inside the Empress Hotel in New Orleans. Now, we're going to show you a picture of the suspect. Police have charged 25 year old Megan Hall. Has been charged in connection with that stabbing. In fact, she'll have a court hearing tomorrow in New Orleans to face these charges. Right now, second degree homicide charges in Louisiana. Now, Murphy, after the funeral mass, which should take about an hour or hour and 15 minutes, Patrick Murphy will be laid to rest at the Calvary Cemetery here in Pottsville. Well, much more on later editions of Eyewitness News reporting in Pottsville, Schuylkill County. Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. Kelly, back to you. All right, Andy, thank you for that live report there.